Hey folks, this is GabeSecurity.org and today I wanted to double up in my Brinks home security review and give you two different perspectives. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now you may know Brinks from those very aggressive looking armored trucks that seem to run around depositing money from one bank back to another bank and then back to that first bank. I also think they can successfully protect you in your apartment or brownstone, or even your house or condo. And that's what I wanna delve into today. Now in order to get a better idea of what's going on with Brinks, I set up two systems. Now I set up one in my apartment, if you will. It's now a brownstone because I have a big dog, so I had to get a little bit of bigger space uh, in New York. And my dad lives in Nashville. Now technically he is within city limits, but it's definitely got a more suburban feel. He has a, a deck, he has a garage. His house is great, neighborhood's great, community's great, but he did have his outdoor fireplace stolen, and this is what prompted us um, to really do this Brinks review this way. Let's hear from my dad now on why he wanted to get a home security system. Dad, uh, tell us what happened. Uh, why did we end up doing this? Well, thank you for this opportunity. You know, it's, it's strange when your neighbor calls you and says, hey, a tree has fallen from my property to your deck. I said, what? I was not in town at the time, but we have a good relationship. So she called and told me that it had fallen and that uh, she was going to have some men to come over and cut the branches away because it was a storm. So they came over and they removed the uh, branches and stuff. But I noticed that my fire pit was gone from my deck. So I called her and I said, do you think these guys may have taken my fire pit? She said, no, because my daughter was there. And I said, well, I talked to my daughter who came over here and uh, she also noticed that the fire pit was gone. So uh, I contacted my son. I told him what had happened because I have an emotional relationship with that fire pit because of how many friends have sat around it and we had so many wonderful conversations. And it also was, it was a gift to me. So he said, dad, I'm, I'm going to hook you up. All this equipment arrives at my house and he arrives at my house and he installs a Brinks security system. Now uh, with Brinks, uh, we can see the entire backyard, to see the entire front yard. So I'm glad to have this Brinks system. Sorry to interrupt, but today's video is brought to you by Lemonade Insurance. They have a ton of solutions when it comes to your insurance needs. We're talking pet insurance, homeowners insurance, renters insurance, even life insurance. So be sure to go and check them out if you're in the market. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, so when you call Brinks, there's gonna be a few different options. One is an option for them to actually come and just install the host system for you, and you don't have to think about it. But uh, because my time was kind of weird in both Nashville and in New York, and things were going back and forth, uh, I ended up doing both of my own, and they were pretty straightforward. Now, in each location, of course, we had different goals, but with my dad, the main one was, you know, of course, you're setting up with the foundational home security system, but then it was deterrence. So we start with that panel. You have to start setting up that panel first, uh, no matter how you're doing it, if you're the professional installer or you're just a consumer at home. Then we set up all of his sensors in the home. So we had motion sensor in his main space. We had door sensors and the like. And then we moved on to what I consider a little bit more fun elements when it comes to outside of the house. So first I put on his smart lock. Then we moved ahead and put on his cameras uh, around the home. My dad has a dance studio. He's a choreographer. For me, I know everyone on my block. I'm not really worried uh, for the most part of anything like that. So I just wanted to know when people were in and out of the house. So I set up motion sensors and I set up entry sensors. And of course, I also have my Brinks screen my Brinks panel so I can see uh, everything going on inside of my home. So these are two very different setups for two very different spaces. Now also of course it's important to think about what we needed from our systems when it comes to the monitoring plant. Now Brinks has two basic monitoring plans. There's a little middle one there but I basically have two cameras uh, for my dad um, and I have zero cameras in my home because for me I'm just thinking about entry 
and exit and what's going on inside of the house. Whereas my dad really does have a lot more property. Um, he has like a lot of space. Anyone can drive up if you will. So we want to think about that live streaming in cloud storage. So that's the real distinction. For example, we're both going to get 24 seven professional monitoring, very important tamper protection, live voice assist, smart home control, um, even, you know, Google and Alexa integrations. We're going to get home automation, but he is going to get that live streaming capability and he is going to get cloud video storage. So my plan is going to start out at $39 a month, whereas his plan is going to be $49 a month with those added video elements. Now, when it comes to that most important element, which is arming and disarming the system, you can do so on the device itself, or you can do it from your phone. So these are really important elements, right? We want to be able to arm and uh, disarm the system from that panel, or if we're out and we've forgotten to you know, arm the system so we know if someone's actually gone inside, we can do it right there with our iPhone or Android device. Now, you're also gonna be able to get notifications, not only on the panel where you can see it on the panel, but also directly to your phone. Now, when it comes to the cameras, of course, I wasn't expecting to be blown away, but they do pretty well. You got 1080p, 113 degree field of view. So sure, it's not the widest, but it's definitely adequate for what my father needed outside of his home. It captures that entire backyard. No more outdoor fireplaces are going to be stolen from him. Well, if they are, he'll at least see it. So here we are looking at the Brinks mobile application. Now I just dive in and I'm looking at my dad's house. Now, what you may want to do immediately right off the bat is just jump into that video. So I'm going to look at it outdoor and boom, this is a shot at what's happening outside of my dad's house this morning. So it's a really good look at that uh, studio back door. So that's important so that we can know what's happening in the studio. And if I wanted to jump into the indoor view, <laughs> looks like he's moved it since yesterday. So now my dad uh, wants to get a look at the front of the house. So that's actually an indoor camera pointed outside. So you can see it's a nice solid view of what's happening in front of the house. You can take uh, keep an eye on the car. So that's a look at what you're getting from the cameras with this device. Now you can also see that I have the ability to lock and unlock the door. So I know he's up and about. So I wanted to lock, you can hit that lock button. And now I have locked my dad's front door. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it. So that has been something that's been really exciting for my dad, uh, as you know, and it's really useful. But let's now just go into the rest of what you're gonna do in a system. And for that, I'm gonna go into my own home so I don't accidentally set my dad's alarm off. Now, you'll see that my system is currently disarmed. Uh, I can go and look and see what's happened. So. In order to shoot, I came into this room and of course that activated my kitchen and my living room. And you'll know that my back door and my front door are both closed. So that's what you want. You want those to be closed during the day. And if I wanted to activate my system, uh, I could do so right here. So I could say arm stay and I can decide, oh, what I want to do. And now I have armed, you can hear that I have armed it. Now I want to go ahead and disarm the system. I can do so just as easily. So I've been moving around uh, my panel because I wanted it to just be in different areas. I want you better to hear that. Um, but overall, uh, it's a very straightforward system. I love uh, the ability to just go in and do what I want. Now, if we want to go a little bit deeper, you can set various scenes. Uh, you're going to get the weather. So here it's cold. And uh, I, I really do actually appreciate that weather app ability. Um, and then you have just the various pieces to the Brinks mobile home security system. So you have the ability to manage your various devices. So the panel, the glass break, uh, tells you what device you're using it on. This is what my uh, iPhone. You have the ability to go into the video, which I do not have, as I said, in this New York home. And if you go into the right hand side, this is probably the most important element, and you can see all the different things that are going on. So this is basically what's happening with my morning. Uh, you can, you know, go back, see the last 50 events. I can go to the last seven days. Uh, just lots of options here. So overall, pretty straightforward, nothing too intense with the Brings Home Security System. And I love the fact that I can help my dad out from wherever I happen to be. 
All right, now we've gone over the Brinks home security system and I'm giving my final thoughts because some elements don't really fit well into the structure of our review, but it's definitely something you should know. What was great about uh, Brinks is that they walk you through every element for everything that you order. So what that means is that I didn't just order a bunch of stuff and then not know how to use it, which honestly can happen with other things in my life where I'm like, oh, this is pretty interesting, I think but I'm just gonna use this part of it because I actually don't know how this all functions. I mean, that is something uh, that I've seen from myself and something that's not happening with my Brinks system. Ultimately, the sheer number of devices and the high quality of the video was a real treat when it comes to Brinks. I mean, if you want a system that has the pedigree, it has a bit of hand-holding, which I like sometimes, then Brinks might just be the system for you. All right, folks, that's our look at the Brinks home security system. I really hope you liked today's video. We worked pretty hard on it in two different states. Uh, if you liked it, go ahead, let us know below, give us a comment. Heck, maybe even subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're always here to give you the newest in home and digital security. My name is Gabe. This is security.org. Be secure.